All right, y'all. Well, welcome to camp. So I'm out here at a spot that I've camped at before, but this is a primitive campsite here. There's no uh, fire pit or anything, which is kind of a bummer. There used to be a fire pit up here, but they've taken it away. So I went and picked up something that kind of alleviates that issue. So let me go pick that up out of the back of the truck. Alright guys, so what I have here is a collapsible fire pit and grill. I picked this up from my local Bass Pro Shops. Um, it is the Eco, let me look it up so I don't butcher the name. Okay, so it is the Uco, UCO, flat pack fire pit and grill. Uh, it all fits right into here. Like I said, I picked this up at my local Bass Pro. It was fairly cheap. Uh, there's a lot of different options for these out there, but this is the one I picked because mainly it was available locally and I can go buy it today. So here's what you get. Comes in a nice, it's a nice canvas bag. It's like thick canvas, nice leather uh, logo on there. And so you get this, which is but that was loud for your little grill top here, which I'll show you, but it's basically so you can do that and take that grill piece on and off. But here's your little fire pit, and it just folds down this way. You kind of have to cross those, and then it sets down like that. And these, they don't stay folded out unless you have the grill top on there. It doesn't stay perfectly folded out, but that's not that big of an issue. If you stick them on there, it kind of stiffens the whole thing up and then you can use this to take the grate on and off if necessary. Uh, but my plan, instead of grilling with it, I'm just gonna use it as a little fire pit and then I'm gonna cook my hot dogs on top of it. So it's pretty nice. It's embossed on the side here. It says UCO, I don't know if it's pronounced UCO or what, flat pack, portable grill and fire pit. So. It's, it's a pretty neat little thing, and I'm kind of excited to use it. It's neat how fat how flat that folds down. I have this in my backpack, uh, so I could take this basically anywhere. I could take this if I was going on a motorcycle trip or anything like that. So uh, I do have a bundle of firewood with me. Now, the bummer part is the bundle of firewood, the pieces of wood are about three inches longer than this is. So. Uh, you can use a hatchet and kind of split those down, and I do have a hatchet with me, but it is garbage, but we'll try to get that out anyways. So I'm going to wander around a little bit and pick up more some like sticks and kindling and stuff uh, to use for this, and then I guess we'll work on getting a little fire started, and we'll get to cooking our dinner. I just have some hot dogs and chips with me tonight, but I wanted to keep it simple for this. Uh, I feel like once I kind of get this figured out, I could make some steaks on it or something like that, which would be pretty good. So. Anyways, we're going to get to uh, collecting some little twigs and sticks and see if we can get a fire going. So stay tuned, guys.
okay i've got plenty of sticks and my bundle of firewood here i guess i'll set this grill on the ground and kind of show you how it is compared to that firewood or or give you a length comparison there so there we go it's just a hair too long but i'm going to get my hatchet out before i start filling this up and i'm going to see if i can split some of those pieces up a little bit better This uh, sounds like there's a woodpecker over here. This hatch is not very sharp at all. It's a Coleman hatch. It's really old. Uh, I did make this little leather cover for the blade a long time ago. I mean, I've sharpened it. We'll see. I should be able to do a little bit of splitting with this. I'm not going to try to like chop the end off of these, but if I cut them up into some small, slightly smaller pieces, it won't bother me if they hang off the end a little bit. Yeah, this is garbage. Ooh. dangerous. Or hatchet. I was looking at the uh, oh, what brand is it? Not Fiskers, maybe it is Fiskers. Not exactly sure. It's pretty bad, isn't it? really probably more dangerous than anything I'm just gonna leave it at that because this is just it just doesn't work I mean it's it seems sharp but I don't know it just never split wood very well I think it's like seven dollars
It's pretty bad. All right, now I'm done. Between, I've got some small sticks, some little bit larger kindling. So I should be able to get it to go. I'll use that to start it up a little bit too. Yeah, I don't know guys. It's sharp. It's not bad. I don't know how, how well it'll focus on that. And you could easily cut yourself with that. It just does not split wood. Never really has. Maybe my hatchet technique is just terrible. But... So, let's go ahead and get this guy going. Turns out, I'm pretty bad at starting fires. <laughs> Welcome to the show. You get so used to using the equipment you have, such as the fire starters, that uh, you kind of screw things up. Things made not to burn, or should I have unfolded it? Survivalist, I am not.
This is the first time I've used it, so it's probably got some oils and stuff on it that are going to have to burn off. So I'm going to let it burn for a little while if it actually starts. Looks like it's going. I think we finally got it going. Pretty neat little thing. not getting super hot underneath of it. I, you know, I imagine if you get a big fire going. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to burn one of these big logs in here. I know it's gonna hang off the end, but we'll see if we can do it. I'm gonna keep feeding these smaller sticks into it. did it. Only took a bunch of napkins to get it going. But this works nice. I mean, looking at it, you wouldn't think it's big enough to really be a fire pit, but I mean, all I've got in there is twigs and it's it's doing just fine. Now, this company also does sell a smaller version of the same thing. It's it's the same exact design, just shrunk down even smaller if you really wanted to backpack with it. But uh Considering it's just probably going to ride around in my truck, that's fine. And in fact, uh, with some of the other companies, they are also flat pack style, but they're bigger. And we'll see. I might consider making one of my own that's quite a bit bigger than this, but uh, that's yet to be seen. I am actually pretty satisfied with this purchase. I think uh, it was $40 at Fast Pro Shops. And for what it is, as easy as it folds down and as compact as it is, I'm pretty satisfied with that number. You could make one of these for that number with a canvas bag and things like that. So uh, I guess there's some value in it.
really with enough sticks and twigs you could get a nice bed of coals in the bottom of this and that's all you would really need let's go ahead and get this thing going should have had on the bottom. The squirrel doesn't sound like he's happy that I'm here. Like I said, I wanted to try to get the oils and things burnt off of this prior to cooking over it. And I can see the way it's kind of burning that it's definitely has some oils on it. But we are going to get this thing nice and hot. actually getting a little warm. So if you guys have any recommendations on budget friendly hatchets, I'm not the guy that's going to go spend, you know, $200 on a hatchet. Uh, so budget stuff. Um, but if you have any recommendations, let me know. Uh, this thing, I don't know, maybe it's just weighted wrong. You know, I wouldn't mind going with something just like a hair bigger I don't know or maybe it's just the wrong angle on the blade that could be it I sharpened it in the garage on a grinder and it's sharp you know I finish it off nicely but uh, maybe it's the wrong angle and that's plays more into it than I than I can realize so if you have any recommendations for a hatchet let me know I'm pretty satisfied with that as you can tell it opens up a few more camping opportunities, I feel like, because there's a lot of spots where I'll go, and I've come to this park before also, but it's like, well, I'm not going to, it's a cool spot up here, but I'm not going to camp there because I can't even have a campfire. So that's what kind of led me into buying this, and I'm pretty satisfied. Let's just get all those oils burnt off of that really already starting to get down to a nice bed of coals I guess no maybe I, I should have a poker I need a poker for my hot dogs I might actually have to use the grill don't know what I've got with me should go see if I have a fire poker I think I have mine with me maybe put this piece of junk away poker guys so I don't know if I've ever shown this on here uh, I watched the blacksmith make this out of just a flat piece of steel this was done uh, god I want to say I was like 10 years old maybe and uh, there was something going on at Northeast Community College in Norfolk Nebraska they were doing something and they had a bunch of people out there and I have no idea why I was even there but I was and uh, I watched the guy pound this out and he gave it to me and I've lugged it around ever since. So I've had this at least 25 years.
Definitely got a hot bed of coals in there. I could definitely uh, cook right on top of that. But why don't we go ahead and stick one of these little chunks of wood in here, see if we can get it going. Just like that, maybe. See how that works. I can honestly, I can even kind of smell the oil coming off of this thing. Almost like my fire wanted to die out. There we go. Start to burn a little bit. Perfect. Now, if I was smart, since I knew that these weren't going to fit, I would have just cut them all in half. I mean be kind of a pain to do on a regular basis but uh, it seems like it's a pretty standard size of wood so it seems like this was just off a little bit but it works and I'm I'm legal I haven't started a fire on the ground so All right, guys, I think it's about time to get those weenies cooking. I'm going to go ahead and throw this last little chunk on here. It's been, uh, it's been burning pretty nice, and it's been burning for probably over an hour now. So I think it's uh, burned enough of those oils off that I shouldn't have to worry about it. So I just have a couple hot dog buns. Got some of my favorite chips. These are like crack to me. For whatever reason, the baked flays are. I really enjoy them. Oh, and I need to grab my ketchup and mustard. Just gonna do these one at a time.
Looks good to me, guys. That's great. I have got to say that I bought a lot of camping gear. I don't buy a lot of fancy stuff. You know, I've got the camping set up. This is probably one of the best purchases for camping I've made in a long time. I don't know why I didn't try to find something like this uh, years ago, but this is awesome. Good to me. This bun has been previously opened. <laughs> I didn't do it, but whatever. <clears throat> well, I'll probably try to stick one of these big logs on it. <clears throat> Testing the limits, I suppose. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up. Probably just let this one piece burn out and uh, let the fire down to die down. I'll save the rest of this wood. All right, guys, that fire's about burnt down. I had to go in and grab my hoodie because it's getting a little chilly out. It's dark now, so I think it's about time to go to bed. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and crawl in the back of the truck here. I'm just going to leave those coals going. Uh, I'm not worried about them. Uh, I don't think I need to worry about anybody coming out here and stealing my little fire pit. So we'll just leave that sit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, crawl in the truck and probably hit the hay. I'll just put this down here. We're just going to leave that. The rest of this. I'm going to put my sunglasses in here and my hat because I don't need those. I'll probably take these beef sticks back there with me that have been riding around in the cab. enough for you guys to see me. Alright guys. 
this. <coughs> Go ahead and get these shoes and things off. I'm changing my I got some sweatpants here I'm gonna change into and some warmer socks. So the low tonight is uh, I think about 55. I don't have the fans going. I do have all three windows open. Well, I guess I can see what the low actually is. It's currently 64. The low tonight is actually 50. So I don't think I'm going to need a fan going. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn a movie on. Get changed, turn a movie on, and I'm going to go to bed. So that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, we'll get up in the morning and we'll see how that fire pit looks in the daytime. I imagine it's going to be pretty scorched inside of it. We'll make some coffee and, and some breakfast. So stay tuned, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Oh. It's definitely wide out. Well, good morning, y'all. Let me get some of these windows opened up a little bit so you can actually see me in here. Condensation on all the windows as usual. Really need to get some like anti-fog or something for my windows. Slept great last night. It wasn't cold in here. So I need to get some coffee going. Um oh man. It's eight thirty in the morning. Which is actually later than uh, I planned to get up. But for some reason, my phone died last night. And my alarm didn't go off this morning. I had my alarm set for 6, not 6, 7. I didn't plug my phone in last night because it had 40% charge. There's no reason that should last all night. So I don't know if it... It's not cold in here. I can't even see my breath. This window is open all night. I guess inside of my drawer, it's 51 degrees. I don't know why that died. My location isn't on, my Wi-Fi isn't turned on, like nothing's turned on that should be sucking down battery life. But, so I was going to uh, get up this morning and use that little fire pit to make my coffee water and some water for some oatmeal. I've got some oatmeal with me, but smart me realized that if I start a fire in there I've got to wait till that fire completely burns down and the coals cool down in order to clean it out and put it away so that would take quite a while so I'm just going to use my single burner to heat some water up for coffee I don't want to have to sit here forever so that's the plan now This is the true beauty of this thing. Is you can use it anywhere.
go. We got some water going. Need a spoon. We got some. I've got. I picked up a couple of these things. They're just little oatmeal cups. So we're gonna go maple and brown sugar. And then obviously a honey bun. I always gotta have a honey bun. That'll be my breakfast. Oh, coffee. I actually need to get some coffee. So I've got one packet of coffee left. Yeah, I've got one packet of instant. But I picked up the grocery store that I went to yesterday didn't have any instant coffee. So I picked up this folders uh, bags. We'll go ahead and try that. I can't tell you if I've ever used coffee bags like this. As long as I can make it pretty strong if I wanted to. Yeah, that fire pit worked great, guys. Uh, definitely one of the better purchases that I've made for camping. Of course, I still have to get out and clean it out this morning, but that's fine. Just a basic little cup of oatmeal, but I think these were less than a dollar. So for travel food, that's not bad. Definitely boiling now. Oh yeah, boiling hard. All right, let's do this without spilling boiling hot water all over ourselves. My little breakfast table, oh, it's so sweet. Nice if I had a little bit bigger cup. But... We got enough for another cup of coffee in there at least. supposed to like sink in there oatmeal looks like oatmeal coffee looks like coffee I have a feeling this is gonna be like really really strong and really really weak like I said I've never can't remember ever using one of these My grandmama used to always use them with tea. T 
tea bags, but. Just gonna let that sit. Might be like drinking mud. Get ourselves a little bit of this oatmeal here. Tastes like oatmeal. <laughs> Moss went fishing. He didn't tell me he was going. Moss, what's wrong with me? Why didn't you invite me? Uh. <laughs> nice, simple, tasty breakfast. Didn't need anything but boiling water. Guess I can. I'm sure this is done by now. Go ahead and do that number. Put it in the trash over here. And I'm gonna drink this coffee. And then I'll get out and we'll get that little grill packed away. Grill and fire pit. And see how that looks after burning inside of it all night. It's really strong. Ooh. It'll be a good cup of coffee. I'll probably have to get on here right away or I'm going to poo myself. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get my coffee drank and then we'll get to, get to getting out of here. So stay tuned. All right, let's go grab this grill and see what it's looking like. See, it's a beautiful morning. Sun's up. So here we go. Here's what I've got left from last night. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this wood up here. Instead of taking it home, I'll grab that. So guys, I think uh, kind of the biggest issue that I didn't really even think about last night is what to do with all the ashes in here. And uh, I'm just gonna dump them in this spot next to me where it's already been burned. I know that's probably not ideal. I should put it into a fire pit or I should have a, a bag or something that I could put this in. It's, it's cooled off so I could put it in a garbage bag and not worry about it, but I don't have anything like that with me. Um, it's just ashes so I'm not terribly concerned, but that is something that I need to think about if I'm doing this in locations where you're not allowed to have an open fire. So if you have any suggestions for me on that, let me know. So that's it guys. We're going to go ahead and fold this back up. Uh, that needs to come out of there and then it simply just folds down. a little uh there we go say so it was a little crusty because of all the ashes in there and that's it it flat packs back down as per the name you can see it kind of discolored it but i expected that to happen now we can go ahead and just stick it back in our case here just slides right into the bag like so then we've got our grill top and the little extension handle. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that right in. It's a nice tight fit in the bag. Make a noise. There you go, just seal it back up. I'm thoroughly impressed with this thing. I'm really glad I have it. That'll just get thrown right under the bed in the back of the truck. Uh, I don't think it'll smell too bad or anything, but uh, I'm satisfied with this, so. Uh, like I said, it's the Uko 
grill and fire pit, UCO grill and fire pit, and I'll link, I'll link this down below from uh, Bass Pro where I picked it up from. But it's a, a great little item for only forty dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the truck loaded up, and I'm gonna get out of here. It. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. We're gonna be doing quite a bit more fall camping here since the weather is getting much nicer and obviously we're definitely gonna be doing some camping going into the snow season. So anyways guys I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.